All right, everybody, welcome back. It is your pal Al, and we're picking up today where we left off with some Black Myth Wukong, and we are still in the Pagoda Realm, except now we are outside the wheel. Um, that's where we're at. We're at the Outside the Wheel Shrine, and I just beat another one of the captains. So we've beat two of the four, I believe, to get out of here. Now we just keep rocking and rolling. Anything up here? Oh my gosh, there totally is. Um, look at all this. The detail that went in this game is just astounding. To me. Um, so we just came through there, right? I think it's insane. We just beat a boss in there. I'm just double checking on the edges to make sure there's not anything cool that, of course there is, anything cool that I want to try to, I don't know, I don't like it, I don't like this. Why would they have me come out here? Man, I tell you what, this place is wild. And the fact that this game is modeled after uh, like a famous, commonly known Chinese like fable or story makes it all the better. Um, here we go. That's what I wanted. Starting off this video right. What did I just get? Hold iron leaves times two and some will. So we picked out about a thousand will right there and some more cold iron leaves. I have so many cold iron leaves, so I'm purposely not upgrading my weapon. Like I, I have not upgraded my, I have like four or five weapon upgrades that I have purposely not um, done because, oh, I don't know, I just, you know, I. I'm saving my items, my crafting materials, for when I come across something that I'm like, I just have to have some like, some legendary or mythical item, you know? Um, we'll see. Who knows? Feels like a trap to me. A oh, little bit of a frame rate drop there. You know, some days this game, I, I will have issues with frame rate drops when it gets busy. Or even right there, not busy. Um, then other days, no issues at all. I'm playing on balanced, by the way. Um, so I could turn the graphics up, but I could also turn them down. And the game's gorgeous. More Luigi fragrant vines. <laughs> Luigi's fragrant vines. That's amazing because that means that we get to upgrade um, our gourd again. And I don't know if I'm doing that correctly or not. I basically just keep upgrading the same gourd. I know I can I can purchase um, there's this epic gourd I can purchase right now, but it, it looks like it's the same level as the one I already have, so I don't know if I want to spend like 8,000 will on it. Ooh, I don't like this at all. Oh. That was weird. Alright, so it's Saturday morning for me, and I don't know if there's just a lot of people online playing this game or what, but so far it's been real catchy. I'm worried that uh, if we get into any kind of altercation... We're, we're gonna have some issues here. Playing this on PS5 so far, it's been fantastic, but like I said, every once in a while, it gets just a little bit. We'll get a little busy and maybe a frame rate drop here or there, which I could always adjust the settings. Some more will. Yeah, this game has been outstanding. I'm taking my time with it, because it's so fun. I know there's things I missed, but I'm trying not to cheat. I'm not looking at anything, I'm looking things up first. So I'll go through it and I can always go back. That's 
celestial Thai pill, celestial medicines, a miraculous pill crafted by King Father of the East on the mountain of Feng Zeng Twat, or Feng Zeng that <laughs> increases maximum mana. That's what we needed, boys and girls. Hell yeah. We needed that more than anything because um, uh, I've been trying to increase my mana, but it's, it takes a lot just to get like, you know, 10 points of mana, and simple spells cost 30 points of mana. So when a simple spell, like the most simple spells we do, cost 30 mana, you know, and it takes, you know, you, they, you get increased by units of 10. I mean, you can do the math, but it takes a long time to upgrade in a little bit. So, man, do I want to go right or left first? I'll go... Looks like there's more than one spot we need to get to here. We'll go down and around, even though tactically I'd like to be up top. Oh. Missed him. In the top part. I am... Hear that? Sounds like one of those damn pigs. I'm having an Elden Ring moment. Oh, look. Looky, looky. That's a boss. If I've ever seen one. That's definitely a spirit, um, but I don't think I can... Oh, it's not? It's interesting. I could have swore that's what that was, but maybe not. Maybe that's just a new... enemy type. this pear tree again. No. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's a pearl. Tree pearl. Oh, I hope we didn't kill it. It's a really pretty tree. Is there something up here? It's like, I always want to, like, get into every little crevice and explore stuff. I've mentioned this before, but one of my favorite genres is survival horror. And you, you basically make it through those games in one piece if you're really good at managing resources and uh, exploring. And uh, that's rubbed off into other areas of games where I just... Sometimes I overmanage resources. should probably be upgrading my weapon. Because I've got so many options, but... I'm waiting to come across something so badass that I can't say no. I could have swore that last guy we fought was a spirit, but he wasn't. He was just... Interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and... Sure, we're good. B 
be interested to... Ah. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have used any of my mana on him, but I do have quite a bit more now. So. I wish there was a way I could keep some of the perks from my older armor and like put them on like newer updated armor because I've got, for example, like the uh, armor, my bronze fire armor from earlier that like um, makes it so my immobilized if I crash an enemy while they're immobilized, you know, here we go. Uh, it basically uh, restores mana and increases my damage. I would love that right now, but the armor's like rare armor. Or it's uncommon, and it's just way too weak for where I'm at now. I'd just get destroyed with it on. And everybody's got different play styles. So. Ooh. Oh, see that? Darn frame rate drop. And we are now at the Snow Veiled Trail. Nice. So here's the real question. Do I rest to get my mana back? Yeah, I will. So down there looks like something. Up there does too. Where should we go first? Let's go down here. I don't know why. But uh, something makes me want to go down here. Wait a minute. Is it just down there? I think so. I love how vertical this game is. Wait, what is that? Oh. Scared the crap out of me. I uh, didn't know what enemy that was for a moment. I'd like to know what kind of enemy it is. Before oh, here we go. Nice. Another tree pearl. I mean, I like the animation that, you, like, you can tell when you have plucked one because uh, it looks different, you know. Uh, but I hate that it looks like you killed the tree. Wait, is there something over here? Now I'm just like, um, hmm. Ah, whatever. I was going to save it, come back when I needed health, but that's probably the best, like, tactically sound way to do that, but now I'm just looking around. It says bad news written all over it. So I do get Will. Since I get Will for destroying these, I absolutely am going to. There's another pear pearl tree up here. Um, I tell me this doesn't have like boss fight written all over it. Do not, but 
I don't know. Something's up. Alright, screw it. Ooh. Now, this makes me wonder if I shouldn't have gone the other way. You know, shouldn't have gone up. But what? Whatever. I think I probably gotta go both ways, anyways, right? Maybe it's two sides of the same coin. Maybe it doesn't matter. But, like most things, I think it probably does. Those big ass chains. Talk about intimidating. Like, who would even make those chains? How would you hang them? I haven't seen any enemies in a while. Not sure how I feel about that. Oh, yeah, baby. Here we go. Who are we fighting today? Todos los dios, yo hago. Every day I do. They call me Wasabi Joe. Oh, shit. Oh, man, whatever. Go, go where? Hmm. Screw it. Where am I? Whoa. Did I just... I'm in a new area. Well. We found a shrine. Not mad about it. I thought that was a boss fight for sure. Yeah, we are still in the Pagoda Realm. The Great Pagoda. That's where we're at, the Great Pagoda Shrine. Um, yeah. This has got to be a boss, right? Well, I'm going to delay the suspense a little longer. I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> Your pal, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.